Hey, Scott. Hey, Paul. How are you doing? I'm good. How you been? Yeah, not too bad, thank you. Not Excellent. too bad, thank you Excellent. very much. Congratulations yeah. on you're always so smartly dressed. Look at you. <laughs> yeah, you wonderful know. Tie. Got to represent. I love, <laughs> I love that about you. Congrats on the film. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I was reading about your initial hesitancy to do to do this film. Now that you're post and you're ready to release and everything else, do you, are you, you you think it's a good decision and you think it's a decision that might help you in the future given just how much there is to to take on in this one. Yeah, I'm I'm thrilled that I did it. I, I really, you know, the, the, all the worries were about how do we stay away from looking like other movies, you know, like Harry Potter and all that. And I, I feel like we did a really nice job, at least I feel, doing that just by by setting it apart through costumes, through the, the design of the sets and all that. And I just loved, you know, I love working on these bigger movies. I love working with artists and, and designers and all that, you know, and VFX people and figuring out how to do it, but while st but still keeping things very practical at the same time and avoiding as many green screens as we can and building building the actual practical sets and even things like our wolf guards were, you know, guys in animatronic suits and, and then, you know, and even when we're shooting the special effects, you know, creatures that are fully CG, having a puppeteer there and having like a green screen kind of puppet they can actually, that it's full size, so the actors aren't acting against tennis balls. So I, I really feel like I expanded my world uh, in that way and, and look forward to doing more of these and, and hopefully other big ones. I remember uh, a quote from uh, the late, great Joel Schumacher when he made his first Batman movie. And things have changed a lot since then, but he yeah. said making the big movies are almost like Everest where you can fall and die at any second. Is that something that you still think is quite, is quite true with these big movies? Because there's so many moving parts that you could ostensibly fall and die at any second. Oh, totally. I mean, no, you're constantly, you can't let your guard down at all, all the way till, I mean, the final approval of the last VFX shot. I mean, there, there's so many ch chances for one thing to taint the rest of the rest of it, you know, and, and that was, I found nerve wracking, always like approving the final VFX because you're like, does that look right? You know, so you're always giving these micro notes and driving everybody crazy, but it's just that fear, you know, you never want people to go like, oh, that looked cheesy or that looked cheap. So, um, you know, before they had an amazing, all the VFX houses, I think literally every VFX house in, in the world has something in this movie. So it worked with everybody. <laughs> And you've been lucky to work with some great ensembles in your time. This one, no different. Again, that 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 must be something that's you know for you as a filmmaker worth getting up in the morning to have, to have all this amazing talent as well as the young the young actors as well. We bring so much to it. Yeah, no, I you know I, I always look forward to going to work because uh, you know I, I, I whoever I'm working with that day is like oh great and it's fun to see who we're going to mix and match and combine and it was really fun having the young actors with our you know established stars you know but the young actors have been doing so much stuff they're such pros that they were just went completely toe to toe and it's. It's fun watching everybody's game just go up, you know. Uh, just finally, before I go very quickly, Simple Favor 2 seems to be moving. Is there a little bit of pressure on you guys, given that the first one seemed to strike a chord with quite a few uh, different audiences? <laughs> yeah, I, I've avoided sequels my whole career, if you'll notice. Mm. Um, and so, yeah, it is nerve-wracking. But, you know, we're working it hard, and uh, we'll see. <laughs> you know, you never know if these things are going to happen or not in this business. But uh, but we, we definitely have a fun script and a really fun idea. And, uh, you know, hopefully it'll hopefully we'll get to make that one. Fantastic. Well, I'm always excited to see what you do next. So uh, thanks so much for your time. Pleasure talking to you. Thanks, Scott. Great. It's great to see thank you. Thank you so much. Cheers. Bye-bye. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey You Guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You 